Hey there, this is David Kerner with Touchpoint Property Management, and I just wanted to create this video for you. Um, I know that sometimes long emails can uh, be a little tedious to go over, so I'm going to summarize uh, the content of this email. Um, we get a lot of, uh, if you're getting this email right now, uh, you're either in the tenant placement process where we're looking for a new tenant, or you're in the lease renewal process, meaning that the tent, we are negotiating another year's lease with the existing tenant that we have right now. So um, just as a note, the, either the tenant that we're trying to place in the property or renew is expressing that they want to move in a pet in the property. And uh, you, on your property intake form, you may have indicated that you did not want to allow pets. So what I wanted just to go over with you is I, I wanted to give you some information just to consider so that you can reconsider allowing pets in the property and what the pros and cons and benefits of that for you will be. Okay, so number one, we find that 70% of the renters right now do have at least one pet. So what we find is the owners that don't allow qualified pets in the property, um, actually they create less demand on their properties and they sit vacant longer um, and they don't get is the, they don't rent as fast and they don't rent for as much money as they could. So we find that uh, properties that do allow for qualified pets, they actually increase demand because 70% of the renters out there do have a pet. Um, so you're actually exposing your property to more qualified applicants, uh, which will result in the following. Number one, your property rents faster. Um, because more tenants are looking at it. Number two, it typically rents for better prices. Number three, we receive more rental applications, which allow us to pick and choose from multiple applicants rather than just one. And if this is in regards to a lease renewal, well, we get less turnover on properties that do allow pets um, because renters tend to stay longer in a property when they find a home for their pet. Um, and they more often they'll renew their lease and stay in the property longer, which reduces your, all of the above will reduce your vacancy expenses, meaning your property sitting vacant. Um, number two, um, it, it decreases your turnover costs because you're not always having to turn the property over and do maintenance on the property um, because the property is rented longer. Um, and then um, number three, it will uh, decrease your marketing costs. You won't always have to pay to place a new tenant in the property. Another thing that we find is because so many tenants have pets, what they tend to do with properties that don't allow pets is they try to sneak the property, the, the, the pets in the property under the radar. And many times they are successful at doing that. Um, and then the other thing that they'll do is they'll go to one of a hundred different websites where they can take their pet and pay $50, get it qualified as a uh, certified service animal, um, which means that we don't, now it's illegal for us to deny the pet. And with those two problems there, if we don't know there's a pet in the property and we can't detect it, or they they have the, you know, then we can't manage the pet. We can't do more inspections. We can't uh, control the situation as much as we could as if, if we knew about the pet. And then number two, if they qualify as a service animal, well, we don't have the choice now. We have to let them in anyway. So with that in mind, being that 70% of the tenants do have pets. And if you don't allow them in, they're going to go through all these different routes to allow the pet in the property. Plus your profit margins will be better. If you do allow pets, we would recommend that you reconsider allowing pets on the property. Now what Touchpoint does is we put the pets through a vigorous um, rental uh, qualification process where we get references on the pet medical records, references from the previous landlord. We get pictures of the pet. So we determine uh, if the pet is on our approved pet list or not on our approved pet list. We can require the tenants to get insurance on the pet, which, you know, reduces liability. Okay. So um, because of all this, we are going to offer a pet guarantee. 
if you allow us to approve a pet, which means that we will offer a $1,000 pet guarantee if there is any pet related damage that exceeds the tenant's security deposit, Touchpoint will throw in $1,000 to resolve any pet related damages. And what's interesting is we rarely ever have to do that because what we find is if you have a good applicant, a good qualified applicant, they're typically very responsible with their pet, okay? So it starts with having a good qualified applicant. Um, the, the applicants that are low quality, the ones that, that don't get approved are typically the ones that don't watch their pet, clean up after their pet, train their pet, and as a result, you have a bad experience. So with everything that I went over, it's some food for thought. Um, if, if you're getting this email, it's either because we have a lot of applicants that have pets or we have a tenant that um, wants to renew the lease, um, but unless we allow a pet, they're gonna move out. Either way, you're going to incur expenses with vacancy, turnover costs, marketing, and so forth. So please reconsider allowing the pet and we, um, we will do our very best to manage the pet and limit any liability. And one other thought for you to consider. Because of fair housing, it is illegal for us not to allow children in the property. We don't have a choice. We have to allow children. What we find at move out is that we find more damage from children than we do the pets. You know, they write on the wall or they spill their food and things like that. So being that the pets seem to be better than the children and you don't have a choice to allow children, you might as well allow the pet enjoy our pet guarantee, enjoy the pet, the property renting faster, staying occupied longer, renting for a better price. Um, and uh, all in all, have a win-win situation for everybody. So please reply to this email. Let us know that you've reconsidered and you will allow a pet. We, we will only approve pets that qualify with our strict criteria. And we will watch over the pet for you and protect your property. Thank you so much for watching this video. We will look for your reply. It is time sensitive, so please send it back as soon as possible. Thanks so much.